Hello gamers, and welcome to Portal 64, your gateway to the gaming world. Today I'm going to talk about the, the Sony E3 conference and what I think stood out to them. Okay, Sony is still making lots of great games for PlayStation 3, even with the PlayStation 4 successor console coming out. And one game I'm most excited for, it's already out now, is The Last of Us. It's a great game about basically an apocalypse in... It looks like it started in like around present time, but then it moves to 20 years later. It's about this man named Joel, and he, he basically looks like he's just a guy that fights on his own, or he, he has his friend Tess that they work together to do stuff, and then they're given a job to take this girl named Ellie to the Fireflies to for a reason they do not know, and later it just becomes about Joel and Ellie traveling across the country trying to survive the apocalypse with the infected but then also other humans that are just trying to survive by whatever means whether that means taking other people down taking their stuff and it looks like a great game it had great graphics a great soundtrack I downloaded the soundtrack already on iTunes it's really great just acoustic guitar good music and it showed that pretty much you could pick up anything off the ground and use it as a weapon which I think is pretty awesome and it has like a good story about character development which I believe is important some games are missing and it's just about Joel and Ellie bonding throughout the game and they use their teamwork to make it through like for instance, Ellie will crawl through a hole in the wall and then come on to the other side and unlock the door for Joel to come through and stuff like that. And the infected are like zombie people that got, well, infected by this disease and there's like clickers, there's bloated, there's, uh, there's quite a few different variations of them and oh man, they are scary. It's a good scary game but then also you fight other humans that are trying to kill you guys for taking your food or weapons anything that they could use from you and uh, it is very good I do not recommend it for children though because it looks like it can be scary at parts but also has very colorful language for those who don't like language I don't know if there will be a setting to turn that off or not uh, but I, it's still a great game other than that so I plan on getting it it came out on the 14th and it's already been nominated for the best game of the year and that it was nominated for that before it was even released so it must be a really great game if it's game nominations like that before the release of the game next I'm gonna talk about destiny destiny looks flippin' awesome. I already pre-ordered it. It's a first-person shooter game set in the future where you're basically the last humans living on Earth and you're trying to push back against all the alien forces and regain what the humanity owns. Like, I believe you could go off of Earth and go to the moon, Mars, and I can't remember the third planet, but it it looks like a great game. It has some leveling up elements, it looks like, from the demo that he would get a gun and you could look at like the level up system where you, you could earn like special attacks or it, it looks like it, he, you could level up and get special attacks for your gun. And he came with his friend. It's a fully online game, so if you don't have internet, it won't work, I don't think. But now, if you don't know Bungie, Bungie's the, the company that made Halo, which is a very great game. My my most favorite first-person shooter game, because it has great story, game, great multiplayer, great campaign. And so I had... So I, I really liked how Destiny looks like it was a game where you get all your friends through, but then yet it still has like a hint of story with it when they went into the wall and it got really dark and he sent out his ghost which is like a device that 
glows and it was an AI and it was talking back to him and it seemed like it, it felt like that part was a story or something and it went it went by and it's like oh, I'm looking for the lights and then it turns on the lights it's like oh oops I alerted enemies and all these enemies started coming and they were surrounded by like 30 guys and they were they got in a huge firefight so I like how I had moments like that that kind of felt like oh this is part of the story and then when they got out of the wall it showed holy cow that's a huge enemy ship coming and it dropped in a tank and they're like holy cow and then a really big group of people came and they're just fighting with a whole bunch of players trying to take down this tank and enemies and I think that's a really great game to go out adventuring on, get clans or guilds, and have a great time. So I really look forward to it. I already pre-ordered it at GameStop. They give you like a special poster. Uh, I don't know if they're still giving out the posters anymore or what, but I'm really excited to see it. And it looks like Bungie did yet another great job. Watchdog is another game coming out for the PlayStation 4 that looks really fun. You play as a future uh, or modern day vigilante and your greatest weapon is your cell phone. In the demo it showed him running towards trying to find his friend who's doing a job and making sure he gets out there because he accidentally tripped a wire and there's now people coming after him. And he started off driving in a car, sneaking around, passing the police, just you know being sneaky in the car. Then he comes out, he runs into a building and hacks into the cameras to talk to his friend and say, hey, you need to make sure you get get out of there quickly. And then people come and he hacks like a music box. So music started playing and the guys got distracted and his friend was able to escape. And then basically you can hack anything in that game. He was able to hack little wall things to change their shape. He was able to hack cars for their alarm to go off, uh, hack cars to drive the cars. It it looked pretty awesome how he could pretty much like how Last of Us always said you could use anything as a weapon. Looks like you could use anything as a distraction or to your advantage through this cell phone. Like, oh, it, it looks pretty cool. And the graphics looked really good and the developer said something like you have this entire city to just run around in and play in and you could play in any way you want. I guess if you want to play more offen offensively, you could do that. If you wanted to be more stealth-like, then you could do that. It. I like games that give you like a variety of how you can play it. And you have a huge city to just run around, do your missions and all that. It looks really great. I cannot wait to try it out and get a little creative, creative with it on what what I would do. So, all right, that's all I have for this video. And if you guys like this, subscribe it, share it on Facebook, like it, comment. And next week I'll be doing a video on the Nintendo E3 conference. If you want me to highlight anything about uh, on that, then let me know in the comments down below. And I'm Davidov64, and I'll see you next time.